Hey guys, Adam here, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy good training, no bullshit, and tips that you can actually use in your own workouts. I'm just going to profile one lift in today's video, the one-arm barbell snatch. This is the more challenging version of the dumbbell snatch, which is also a great movement, but this version is my favorite because of the balance factor. Now, before anyone thinks that this is impossible to learn or... Too dangerous, let me remind you that there's an element of danger in every exercise. And I didn't just start grabbing a barbell one day and snatching it overhead. I had to learn the technique like everyone else. And the difficult lifts are always the most fun and rewarding. So start off like I did with a piece of uh, PVC pipe or a broomstick. Now one thing you should notice right away is the start position. It's not exactly the same as a deadlift. Your head is up, your shoulder is out over the bar, not behind. Your lower body position is like an RDL with the bar close to your shins. With a long arm because this is a lower body driven exercise. Put your other hand on your other leg for leverage and the bar stays close to your body, the whole lift to lock out. As strong as I am, I can't front raise these weights. Let's watch that again. You'll notice that I'm lifting the weight with my whole body, especially my posterior chain at the beginning and not my arm. My arm stays relatively straight the entire movement. And you know you have it down when the bar passes your shins and it feels weightless. It explodes up over your head. I started doing these a number of years back when I was all steel and sex appeal, but when you have a lot of tools to choose from, it's easy to get away from one particular movement, but I'm getting back into them again. And I started doing these to help with the weight over bar event in Highland Games, but they're a great unilateral exercise for addressing any muscle imbalances you may have while being a great shoulder, back, and posterior chain exercise. For today, 95 pounds was as heavy as I went with both arms. I'm right-handed, so my right side is stronger, and for my purposes, being a right-handed thrower, I'm most concerned with that. But I made sure that I work both sides to a point to keep everything relatively balanced. We all have our stronger and weaker sides. The last time I did one arm barbell snatches was nine months ago, and it was roughly with this same weight right here. This is 115 pounds, and the last time I did it was about 117, and um, I was happy to see how fast this moved, and so I knew I had to go, you know, that extra five pounds heavier and put on 120 pounds. My lifetime personal best is 162 pounds, as you saw, so, you know, I'm roughly 40 pounds away with that. That's a lot of weight for one arm, and I'm not getting any younger, but if I can get back to 135, I'd be very happy with that. And um, even with this uh, 120, we'll see how this goes. I thought it went very well, but I could tell that it was 120 pounds above my head. So with that, I hope you guys will work these into your routines and stay tuned for episode uh, 92 of The Ways.